everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, out here today at Take Aim Training and Range, and we're here today to discuss body armor, all right? So I've got some guard dog body armor here today. You guys might know the, uh, the brand already when we torture tested their level four ceramic plate, and we did like two shots of 5.56, two shots of 7.62, NATO and 39, nine mil, 45, and then ending it with 300 wind mag and uh, it never penetrated. So I'm pretty impressed by this body armor. Go check out that video if you're looking for that torture test. But today's video isn't so much a torture test, it's really to show the difference and kind of compare steel body armor. This is the level three plus plate from Guard Dog, right? And this is a spall liner here for him. Uh, to compare steel versus ceramic or soft body armor and uh, what might be better, right? So let's go ahead and actually just jump right into that. Typically, we can talk about price. Price point uh, still is gonna be a little bit more affordable than your ceramic plates, all right? But on top of that, uh, there's pros and cons to everything, right? What you need to think about too are multi-hit levels. So first off, the level four ceramic plate from Guard Dog is multi-hit rated. In other words, uh, it's not just a one and done, like one shot and then this thing's out of, <laughs> out of the fight because after shooting it um, about eight, nine times with different calibers, and then again, ending it with 300 wind mag at a point blank range. Uh, this thing is definitely multi-hit rated, all right? Uh, now, when it comes to steel, steel naturally will hold up over a longer period of time. However, what you really have to worry about when it comes to a steel plate is fragmentation and spall. What that is, is whenever that hard metal, a, I don't know, projectile like lead, uh, which granted, yes, it's a soft metal, but I'm just saying, whenever something is making contact with the hard metal that this guy is, you're gonna have to worry about fragmentation and all that spall going somewhere. And if you ask me, when I have this guy on my body and it gets hit, there's uh, pretty much, well, it's gonna go everywhere. That's gonna go under your chin, into your groin, off to the sides, maybe even to your arms. It's a really bad day for you and probably people around you if you were to get hit wearing metal body armor without a spall liner. Spall liners are made to catch all of that fragmentation. Now what's cool about the Guard Dog spall liner here is the fact that it has a built-in trauma pad back here so it absorbs some of that hit also so it's not just you taking the brunt of the force. Pretty nice, right? So what's cool about ceramic is the fact that it's pretty much all of this built in, right? Now granted, that's gonna leave a little bit more expensive, but it's also called a standalone unit. You don't need a spall line or anything like that. It catches the fragmentation and everything. So pretty nice, right? Uh, another thing you have to think about is weight. These guys are coming in both complete sets here, about six and a half, seven pounds, somewhere there, thereabouts. So weight, pretty much right on par. Typically you'll see still to be a little bit heavier, however, uh, especially depending on what it might be coated in, all right? So with all that being said, what do you say we just hop right into it and shoot it some? We're gonna make it pretty easy. We're gonna take one shot of nine mil, check it. And right now in the multicam vest that we have down there, that's our Mac vest, uh, also by Guard Dog. We've got that guy there uh, with a steel plate and liner in it. Let's take one shot of nine mil, one shot of five, five, six, two, two, three, because we'll talk about velocity and what all that means here in just a moment. And some 762, or actually that's 308 Winchester. 308 Winchester, 147 grain, moving at just under 2,800 feet per second. But let's go ahead, let's come around to the other side of the bench here. Let's just take one shot of nine mil. And yeah, I wanna get up close and personal. And let's just see how the spall liner works and also the uh, armor itself. All right. Now, one thing you'll notice is uh, I didn't hear the metal, right? I didn't hear typically what steel sounds like when getting hit. Granted, it might still be the gunshot going off and my hearing protection, but I didn't hear a ring or anything. And I'm not seeing any spall or anything like that. 115 grain, nine mil, not too worried about it to be completely honest. And as far as what I'm seeing back here, let's just go ahead and just lift it up and show you guys just really quickly. We're good, other than some fresh paint. <laughs> We're good, no penetration, awesome. I'm just gonna leave that hanging like that. All right, let's go ahead and grab 5.56 five, next. And something that you guys might wanna consider when it comes to 223.556, five, five, 5.56, five, five, what we'll be shooting today, M855 and M193. M855 is 62 grain, still core, right? It's moving a little bit slower than 55 grain. It's a heavier bullet, the M855 is. 
So because it's moving a little bit slower, we don't really have to worry about, and I'm just going to show you really quick. We don't really have to worry about the velocity defeating that armor. Now, what I am curious to see is how it does against the 55 grain. That 3000 feet per second velocity is pretty much the threshold of most body armor out there and when it might start being defeated. 55 grain is moving just about there. So we're going to take a look. First shot's going to be with the 62 grain green tip and then the second shot with the 55. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look and let's see how this does. Again, up close and personal, getting that maximum velocity right out the muzzle. Let's see if Mr. Hand Select 2 will survive here. All right. There we go. Easy enough. One, two. Still no penetration in the back. Very good. Now, something else I'm really liking so far is guys, if you have seen some of our previous body armor videos where we're shooting steel plates without the spall liner, uh, the plate or the plate carrier itself gets completely shredded. So what I'm happy to see right now is the fact that I'm not seeing any damage to the plate carrier whatsoever other than the holes in the plate carrier from it being shot at, right? So very happy to see that so far. But we've also got an FAL by DS Arms or an SA-58 technically. Let's take one round of a 308 Winchester. I think it's moving at about 2780, 2780 feet per second. And yes, we're clear for all you internet RSOs out there. So let's see how this guy holds up against it now. I'm curious to see how the spall liner does with some uh, 308 behind it. All right, let's take a look. By the way, DS Arms and the SA-58, sweet. Okay. So, here we go. We've got one, two, three, four shots on now. Nothing in the back looking good. And again, it looks like the spall liner has held up. Since we're done shooting it, let's go ahead and take a look. Here you go, you can see the bullets make an entry here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. And if you guys didn't see our video introducing the Mac plate carrier, uh, go check that one out too after you're done viewing this, of course. I'll show you how to install the plates and all that fun stuff. Yeah. A lot of Velcro. I want to make sure that plate's staying in there, not going anywhere. So it makes sense. All right, it's warm. <laughs> A lot of energy transfer. Okay, so this might actually be cool. Let's go take a look at this. So you can see all the different hits on the spall liner. Very nice. Backside, clean. That is what I like to see. Now, what I think is going to be pretty cool here, and like I said, to the touch, this is actually warm. All of that energy being transferred into the body armor, yeah, that is pretty cool. Let's open this up. And what's neat is the steel plate actually fits right into these spall liners, so that is very cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the plate itself. If I can get it out of here without struggling too much. <laughs> look at that. Cool, so you can see all the different hits. I'm going to assume that's probably our 308 with the biggest splash, right? There we go, very cool. Now what we should have next is a whole lot of jacket and everything else starting to fall out of here. Yeah, uh, yeah. so you can see all the different lead and everything else falling. How neat is that? So this spall liner is definitely holding up and you can see the Kevlar weave and everything else that they've got in here. How neat is that? That is pretty cool, right? So very neat. Glad that it held up to multiple hits too. That is awesome. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and load these all back up. And now we're gonna go ahead and shoot the ceramic plate. We've got one in here in the FDE Mac vest. And let's see how the ceramic plate holds up and you'll see why these are multi-hit and well, Let's just take a look. Let's do it. All right, so first off, I want to remind you guys, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, make sure you're, well, liking the video, commenting down below, letting us know what you want to see next in upcoming videos. And also, too, we're offering all these products you see here at ClassicFirearms.com, so make sure you're headed to our website to check it out. And if you see something you like that it's not in stock at the moment, make sure you're signing up for our product ads to be notified for when it does come back in stock, all right? Now, you've heard me talk about different levels of plate, and what you just saw right here is the level three plate plus steel plate from Guard Dog take multiple hits. So what does level three plus stand 
for. What does that mean? What that means is it is rated to take multiple hits, at least six hits of 762 by 51 spaced out. Now it being a steel plate still is going to be a little bit more resilient and last longer to multiple hits than like ceramic will you'll see on the level four here in just a moment. We do have the level four plate right now in the plate carrier on Mr. Hand Select 2. If you want to know why we climb Mr. Hand Select 2, you might want to go watch our uh, flamethrower videos. Anyway, uh, so what does level four mean? Level four means that it is designed to actually stop 30 out six armor piercing rounds, okay? Now, granted, that's pretty awesome for this guy. Pretty awesome that it would stop an armor piercing round, seeing how it is body armor, right? Uh, but also too, you gotta think there's actually ceramic tile in here and it will disintegrate over time. But I feel pretty comfortable that uh, if by the time you get to the point where the ceramic is degrading, I think you're actually gonna have a hard time breathing from just all the trauma that your organs are taking, okay? But anyway, so let's go ahead, let's take a couple of shots here. Uh, with the 9 mil, the 5.56, 7.62 onto the plate down there. And like I said, this is a standalone unit. You don't need a spall liner for a ceramic or standalone unit because you don't have to worry about the spall as much. Like I said, it's catching all of that as it is. Think about it, when I dumped all the stuff out that was in here and, I'm, and I keep pulling out, you know, copper jacket and like that, if you don't have that liner, it's gonna be going into your body and places you don't want it to go. It's gonna be ripping up your vest and let's say you might have more mags there or something like that and if the bullet missed the mag, now you gotta worry about the spall coming and destroying whatever whatever uh, extra ammo you have. So yeah, make sure you're wearing a spall liner if you do choose to go with a steel plate. So now, without further ado, let's load up the nine mil. Let's go take a shot on the level four plate, the ceramic plate standalone plate, whatever you want to call it, and let's see how it holds up. All right, cool, one shot. Also too, looking at this right here, this is not the proper placement for a plate carrier. Make sure you got this thing up and uh, protecting your vitals as it's supposed to do, all right? Okay, cool, so that was one shot there. We're clear on here now, very cool. And let's see where we're at. Nothing on the backside, perfect. All right, one shot of nine mil down. And this isn't our first time shooting the level four ceramic plate. Like I said, we did a complete torture test with that guy and uh, I'm very confident in it stopping everything we're throwing at it today. But it's the disintegration of that ceramic tile that I think you guys are gonna be pretty interested in seeing, okay? So let's put <laughs> the bread back down and all that leftover spall there. And let's go five, five, six next. Now this one might be a little interesting because that heavier grain bullet, the 62 grain, this is where it might start to shine a little bit, all right? The 55 grain getting its maximum velocity out of like a 20 inch barrel, that's gonna be coming out to vibe check some steel plates, okay? That's whenever I really start to question things. But uh, this close with the 62 grain, let's see what it does to that level four. All right, and then let's go one more shot with the 55. And let's see what happened here. Okay, so as you can see, the plate's starting to take a little bit of damage here, but we're good on the back plate carrier on me. So, so far, so good. Nice, I'm not seeing anything, you know, escaping from down here. So, not bad so far. Cool. Let's step it up to 762 by 51. I keep saying that. This is 308 Winchester that we're shooting. The difference between 76251 and 308 is the fact that 308 actually has a little bit higher pressure. So it's a little bit more, a little bit more of a oomph behind it than 762 by 51, which is like the exact opposite of what you would be thinking when it comes to 556 versus 223. But anyway, let's take one shot here, see what happens. Oh yeah, God, that thing feels good to shoot. Okay. And yes, as I expected, we're good. Now here comes the fun part. Let's go ahead and remove the plate from the plate carrier and let's show you guys what happens to that ceramic as it starts to take a beating. As you'll notice, I'm already starting to see <laughs> the disintegration. Oh yeah, move that guy down. Yep, there we go. So I hit the flap here, not bad, and you can see <laughs> There's all that ceramic falling out. As long as the plate carrier is holding it together, you'll be all right. So let's keep moving around here. Uh, and again, these Mac carriers have all these different straps to make sure that plate carrier is staying snug and in place. Okay, 
And here comes the fun part. Boom. Oh man, puppy dog's all messed up. Anyway, there it is. So you can see, again, all that ceramic tile that's in there. <laughs> Pouring out now. Uh, there we go. And you can see just a little deformation in the back. But again, nothing happening here. I do believe the shooter would still be safe or at least the wear of the body armor. And you're still gonna feel it, right? You're still gonna have some, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna be in a little bit of pain. <laughs> so internal damage, eh, that might happen. But I think this is catching a lot of that energy that might be transferring down range and into the body if you were to take a hit. So I think ultimately you'd be okay, have the breath knocked out of you, probably have some bruising, things like that. But multiple hits over a period of time, it's not gonna be a good day for you, all right? <laughs> but anyway, just stay out of those situations, you'll be fine. But in case you can't, I feel like you'd be able to trust your life to Guard Dog Body Armor and their level four ceramic plates. If you wanna save some money, you can go for the steel plates, but do not forget the spall liner, all right? And these trauma pads that are integrated on the back side of it. It's nice and cushiony back here, again, to try to help absorb any of that impact. And what's great is like I said, we're offering our protection package, two steel plates, two spall liners coming in at an excellent price. You see a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of plates that actually don't come in a bundle. You have to buy them one each. Well, we're offering them as a complete package for, uh, Again, an excellent price. Check it out at classicfirearms.com. That's where you can get all of your Second Amendment wants and goodies and joys and everything you could ever ask for, including free guns. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but we give away a lot of guns. Uh, let's just move down here and show off a couple of those. One of those being a legendary 357 Magnum Colt Python. I am a huge fan of this revolver, and if you missed our video announcing this as our giveaway, you might want to go check that out, all right? Should be popping up at the end of this video somewhere. But that's not all, right? Here, here. <laughs> but wait, there's more. We're also giving away this guy right here. This is the SIG MPX Copperhead pistol with the Vortex. I know, massive holographic sight on top. This is the Vortex Razor UH1, and uh, though it is about as big as the pistol, the sight picture on it looks really good and I enjoy shooting it as it is. But uh, it's also one winner. One winner for both of these guns, new school cool, old school cool, that's gonna be some pretty sweet stuff. So like I said, check out the video announcing this as our giveaway. Get your entries in at classicfirearms.com. It doesn't require you to have the most entries out of everybody else to win. All it takes is one, but the more entries, the better your chances. And it's no purchase necessary whatsoever. All we do is ask you to uh, visit the website, sign up, using your email of course that way we can notify you the winner and disclaimer we will not notify any of you via direct message coming from a private profile on facebook there's a lot of scams out there happening so please make sure you're reporting those profiles because well they suck let's just leave it at that all right Anyway, guys, check out Guard Dog Body Armor. Again, classicfirearms.com is where you can check out all of these products you see here today. Of course, all the rifles, all the guns, and all the fun stuff that I think everybody should own, right? All right, we'll leave it off there. I wanna hear from you guys down in the comment section. Again, what do you wanna see us shoot <laughs> that body armor with next? I don't know, 4570, see how a ceramic plate handles that. Maybe we wanna do some, I got tracers, but I don't know if they'll allow me to do that out here. I don't know. I think I got like some armor piercing 50 cal. That'll probably defeat everything. Still be fun though. Let me know down in the comments, guys. God bless y'all. And we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.